So what's up guys? How's everyone doing today? I figure uh, today I'd give you another story time with Witness. Another little glimpse into you know, crazy shit that happens in my life that yeah, it's just funny. It's It's random things and you know, sometimes at the time it's not funny, but in hindsight, it's hysterical. So the story today has to do with uh, gym etiquette and man law. You know, when guys go to the gym, if you take a shower at the gym, the, the etiquette is, you know, you come out of the, the shower, you have your towel still wrapped around your, around your waist. And usually the way I do it is I'll go to my locker. Uh, if I got to, you know, I'll grab my underwear type of thing and I'll slide it on under the towel and then I could take off the towel and, and continue getting dressed get my stuff get dressed and you know get the fuck out there's no sense in me being in there for you know an hour hanging out in the gym locker room there's there's no need for it I just got to get dressed and I got to go that's it so when I was living in New York uh, the gym that I used to go to uh, it's um it's a, like a full a full service gym I mean they have sauna they have spa they have towel service they give you razor blades if you want to shave i mean it's, it's like the, the whole nine yards it was a, it was a really nice gym uh, but this particular day i finish my workout i go and i do my my shower thing because i'm a, I, you know i'm gonna go head home and uh, i come out of the shower as i normally would with my towel wrapped around my waist and i'm starting to get dressed and uh, this dude comes out of the steam room. So this dude comes out of the shower. Oh, I'm sorry, not out of the shower, out of the uh, steam room. And he's probably in his like late, late 50s, I'd say. And this dude is completely butt-ass naked. Not only is he naked, the only thing he has on is a pair of sandals. So he's, he's naked with sandals on. And he comes out... And the, the dude is, like, shredded. I mean, for being his age, I mean, the dude is jacked. He's cut up, like, all over the place. But I hear somebody kind of, like, coming up. So I turn and I look. And here, here's this naked guy, like, coming up, walking right over towards me. Because his locker is in the same area as mine. And I did one of those. I looked and I was like, oh, Jesus. And I, I looked away real quick. Because this guy could have what could only be described as a great big horse cock. So this guy comes out, he's like glistening from the steam room, shredded with this giant horse cock. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude, God, come on. You know, but uh, whatever. It, it, it's not the first time, you know, that I've seen a naked dude in the locker room. I just, you know, I prefer, I wouldn't, but, you know, it is what it is. And I just do my thing, get dressed and go. So this guy comes over while I'm getting dressed, and there's like one bench uh, right where our lockers are, and he literally comes over and he does a Captain Morgan pose, and he puts his his leg up on the on the bench that I'm sitting on, with his uh, big floppy donkey dick just hanging out there, and I'm like, oh my god, this is this can't be happening, this can't be happening, and I'm I'm like struggling, I'm I'm almost completely dressed, I'm like trying to get my socks and my shoes on as quick as possible. And at that moment, the, um, at the, on the, the intercom, the loudspeaker for the gym, one of the employees makes an announcement. So the employee comes on, makes an announcement, but the, the speaker that's in the locker room, it's, uh, it's like really muffled and garbled up. And so all you hear when the announcement comes on is... Like, I couldn't understand what it said. Nor was I trying to pay attention to what it said because I've got this guy's dong hanging right next to me. But he can't understand what they're saying either. So he, like, jokingly starts punching me in the shoulder, like, kind of like punching me on the shoulder and tapping me on the back type of thing. Like, it's like, hey, 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 did you hear what that, uh, what that message said? I freaked the fuck out. Now, I am the least homophobic person uh, you'll ever meet. I mean, I, just, I really don't care. But this guy crossed that line with me. And, and 
So he he does that whole, hey man, I didn't say, do you even hear what the hell that message said? That shit was crazy. And I literally picked up my shoes and I flipped out. I was like, oh my God, don't touch me with your dick out. And I stormed out of the locker room with just my socks on, no shoes. And I like went running out of there. It's like, you crossed one big man law line. If your dick is out, you don't touch another man unless you're trying to fuck that man. I had a freaking attack. It was ridiculous. And so I called my friend after I left the gym. I called a friend of mine, it was a chick that uh, lives back here in Miami. And I, I told her exactly what happened. And she was in tears laughing because she thought that was the funniest shit ever. And at the moment, I was like, it's not funny. Dude, it's totally not funny. I mean, in retrospect, now it's funny, but at the moment, I was super pissed off. And like I said, not homophobic at all. Just don't touch me with your dick out. Well, all right, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed another edition of uh, Storytime with Witness, or at least this adult-rated version of Storytime. And I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next video.